Right, hello everybody. Um, I'll do a little try it Tuesday. I'm going to um, use crackle paste on this book cover. Okay, I've chosen this one. I've used it before, to be honest. Um, and it's I love it. All right. Um, there's other makes on the market. And if you're successful with them, you know, stay with it. Okay, I'm just using the one that I've used and I've had success with it. So that's the one I tend to use. Um, I like the Tim Holtz Crazing one as well. I love that one. Um, but on this one, I want some, you know, deeper cracks and everything. Um, there's ways of doing it with glue and all sorts of things. All right. But I'm using this today. Um, so I want to do this cover up for like a um, nature spring type of journal. So I will show you how to do the the front and paint it after. Okay. Yeah, I need to do that as well. But that will be for, you know, a later date. I'll just do in the cover today. Um, I've done another two as well. I've got them already ready. So I was having a play myself and I thought, oh, no, I'll show you what I do. So, yeah, I put this on because it stops it drying out. I use put it on with a palette knife, okay, and quite liberally, really, okay. And the best thing that I advice I can give you with this one is just leave it alone. Sometimes they they do say it can take um, three days, but I think after about twenty four hours is fine. To be honest. It's very light, this one. I I will get it out of there. I won't have it in there, but. So. I say about, how thick do they say? 1.6 millimetres. Uh, no idea what that is in inches. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> Uh, it's not the cheapest either, so and like I say, there's other mediums, but, you know, if you're going to try it, perhaps don't try it on a big piece. Just try it on um, a small piece of card and see see what, you ha what happens, and then you can um, try it different ways, different thicknesses, and all that sort of thing to give you a bit more, you know, and then put it in your little book. And say, you know, you've done this with that one and that sort of thing. I don't think there's quite enough on that bit there. So I shall put some more. I sort of want quite a bit of texture. I don't want this all smooth, if you know what I mean. So I just don't really want any in there. Make sure I have enough coming to the end of it there. You don't have to put it on quite as much as this, but I actually want texture as well as cracks. So I am going mad. Oops. <laughs>
Okay, and you'll see this in most probably a couple of days. <laughs> or sometimes, last time I done it, it was 24 hours and it was great. Okay, so that's that one. I don't put it on heat or anything. I just let it do its thing. Okay, can you see that? Uh, a bit too near, I think. There we go. Right, I thought I'd show you how to do this one as well. I haven't got another cover, but I'll do it on a, a plaque because I might do a painting after I've done, done showed you this on that one. Okay, so this is just, um, what did I use? Acrylic paints. That's all the paint there. I'm um, sorry, it was gesso and cornflour or cornstarch. Not sure what you call it. Okay, to give a lot of texture and then sand it down. So I shall do the first bit, which I mixed cornflour. I need a pot. Okay, that's all right. Just got a pot to put that in. So gesso and cornflour. I mean, you can do it with texture paste as well, but this is quite a cheap alternative. Or, or, or oops, or, or um, white acrylic paint if you want to say. It's all right. You can use white acrylic paint, corn flour, and a little bit of glue. All right, just so that it makes sure it sticks on there. You just get a really thick consistency. Maybe not enough in there. Right, where's me? Pipe knife. Um, that's the gesso I'm using there, a Pebio one at the moment. Let's see what it's like. The gesso's got glue in it, you see, so. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. I could do with maybe mixing it a bit better. Hold on. Off the sorry, I had plaster in it before, so you shouldn't have used it really. Bits of plaster are coming off. it out I'm not sure where that's quite enough I've got to mix some more it's quite a big cover this but I thought oh I'll be able to do something so do some kind of painting on this one something might be nice
Like I said, I am a messy worker. <laughs> Without a doubt. So I'm just getting the lumps out. Okay, there we go. Clean that off and leave that dry and we shall do the painting bit. Right, the both are dry. So this is um, the one with the um, golden crackle paste. So absolutely brilliant. Loads on there. That was um, overnight. So that's 24 hours say so hate loads on there loads of texture because i i wanted it like this okay but i will file it down a bit i find um the texture paste is better if i seal it because it's very porous okay and i want i'm going to use sprays on it for like a uh, nature spring type thing so i shall give that a coat of matte medium which i'll do in a minute this is the one with um, cornflower paste and acrylic. Um, I used gesso, didn't I? Gesso. Okay, now I find this doesn't need to be sealed. Okay, and, but I'm going to use paint on this one because I'm going to do like the blues and that because I think I'm, I might draw some kind of mermaid or do something on that as a plaque. But you've got to pretend this is a cover. Okay, it's just that I didn't want another one because I only wanted one blue one. So, but I'd use that for some artwork. But I'll do exactly the same procedure as I did for the journal. Might not look the same because of course I was different. And to be honest, the cornflower, I must put more cornflower starch in this one because we've got cracks. So that is a real happy bonus. Because the golden crackle paste is really expensive, where this is just gesso and um, corn flour. And that's it. And we've got cracks. And I think that's quite good, to be honest. So, happy accident there. I didn't know it was going to do that. Because it didn't do it on this one, for some reason. But then I might not have laid it on so thick or something like that. I don't know. But, but that was what I was aiming for. But I didn't get that. <laughs> I got that, but that's great. So I'm going to write that in my book <laughs> because that was a definite happy find. This is great. Yeah, so on the thin bit here is and didn't crack so much, nor on that thick bit, that, but this bit here, which is most probably about a mil thick, but all here, look, it's cracked, and that's really on there lovely, if you know what I mean. That is just great. So very pleased with that right so i'm going to put gel medium um this isn't this one i use it's just my little pot the liquitex matte medium okay because i get that in the liter bottles and then i decant it into smaller ones so yeah it's very porous this so you need quite a lot on here and then let that dry Um, it's not a clean brush, but I'm not worried. So. I haven't got no support on that bit yet, so I'll show you all that later on. Right, 
give that a dry and while that's drying I'll paint the other one okay right so first thing I'm going to do is paint it yellow um what am I Naples yellow I'm doing there it's just you know it's any yellow would do really I just quite like that tone that one Okay, should be all right. So I'm um, gonna wet up, do a wet wipe and go over it. So I pull some of it off as well. Because this is, I'm just doing it how I done the other one. So it might fill in the cracks of this, but on a future project, I would emphasize those cracks, yeah, with a say darker color, but I'm actually doing something else. So just didn't realise I was going to get those nice cracks at all. Okay, now because I have all this on here, okay, I will get some book paper and I will smudge it on the pages. That's the sort of thing I do. I've got one here, okay, so I do that sort of thing. Okay, I'm going to put that to dry, it's a nice yellow one. Keep those. All right, okay, needs to dry off. Okay, there we go. Right, now we start building up the top layer, next layer. It's not the top layer, it's just one of the next layers. Um, I'm going to use a bit of this. I'm um, what is that one? I've got lime here. I've got sky. That's the... Um, Dina Wakeley Media, okay, from Ranger. And I've got turquoise, okay. I've also got this little turquoise cheapy paint. I got some white, of course, titanium white there. And for a bit of contrast, I've got Payne's Grey. I really do love this colour, okay. So to be honest, this is what I tend to use first, all right? I'm going to put my palette here. Okay. Oops. And I'm going to literally just randomly, because this is like just first bit. Okay. that and put a bit of that there bit there and we'll see what happens there and maybe a little bit of green down there as well I mean you have got to be careful you don't make mud but we can still crack, crack that if we do. <laughs> right, I think I'll clean my brush now a little bit. Dry it off. Haven't got no white. I need white as well. So, so. I 
it's not very technical at all. You just got to keep working at it until it sort of looks right, really. It takes a few layers to get um, to cover the yellow. Okay. And then we I file it back. Okay. Right. Now a bit of white. Clean my brush. Nearly dobbed it in there, didn't I? So they hear the rattling noise that's um I've got little stones, little glass stones in the bottom of my pot because it helps get all the acrylic paint out. Okay. I know it'll mix with what's there because it's not dry, but that's okay though I want that for a minute. Okay, don't want that to go grey though. Okay, just going to put a bit on. I'm going to dry that now. Okay, I want a bit more dark. I smudged it out too much, really, but that's all right. It's only our first layer. This is where you can sort of practice and play around a bit if you want. This is a bit of green, lime green. Okay. And I want to mix a bit of white now. I still cover over some of the white as well. I really do. It's just add a little bit of lightness in places. So I want some more turquoise on this as well, but I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Right. Okay, that's cool. I'll just put a bit over there. Mm, a bit of a hard line there. Okay. This bit must be really dry. I'm not saying that's 100% dry, but... It's okay for me, but it's preferably 100% dry. Right now you need um, like a nail file, you know, emery board or sandpaper, okay? Because I am sanding this down now. Because it'll lift up bits and pieces. Great. Oops. Oh, I'll add that in. <laughs> so no worries. As you know, I'm a messy worker.
Okay, and we get a clean wet wipe, get the dust off. And I think this. A little bit of a lump there. That's Right, I'm going to use this, it's just cheap and cheerful and it's actually split at the bottom. So I'm going to get some of that because I'm going to make a bit of a wash. Just have a little bit of water for now. Okay, so it's, it's sort of like rubbing on and rubbing off again. We get the wet wipe, fresh one. Well, do that one's okay, but I might as well use that. And then we rub off again. Another nice one to use. Okay, I'll get another new one. Okay, still going to do a little bit. See, it's not picked up the yellow on that this time. And yet it did on the other one. See how different it is. But I'm loving the, the rest. It's absolutely brilliant. it sort of blends everything in putting that on the top do not really like that you just sort of wipe away bits that you want to yeah it's just an eye for i think oh i'll just wipe that away and if you think oh no actually i don't like that then go and get some more and rub it in back in see you just you can play i'm quite liking that there and a little bit of white coming through
Okay, I'm really liking that, you know. I'll start off with a coat of matte medium, mud, mud podge or acrylic wax, anything, you know, just to seal it up. Okay, but that is a good base for me to work on. Yeah. To do some kind of something. I don't know, it's going to go on my wall. <laughs> I like it. So, yes, totally different to this one. But I'm actually, you know, because this worked better and the cracks appeared where I didn't have any of that on there. But and yet it worked on that. So I'm going to leave it. I like it. And I like the fact that I've got a bit of depth here with that on the top. It looks like we've got quite a lot of layers, you know, a bit of depth going on here. I really like that. I mean, you imagine that, you know, as a cover. That would be amazing. Right, okay, so uh, what shall I use? I think I'll use matte medium, just in case I, I want to do something else on the top, yeah? I know I can still work on top of this. So I shall just protect that layer. Another thing I do with my excess paint, I've got some kitchen roll, okay, and I've got some in here. So there's a lot in here, so I'm going to dab some of this off, okay, and I'm going to put it on here. Okay, we can add actually a bit of water. Okay. A bit too perfect there, isn't it? It usually goes through them all, so. Okay, that's that. And while I'm here, I'm just going to spray a little bit of Distress Act Oxide on these tissues. And then we dry them off. Okay. Okay, the next one. Right, so what I'm going to do with this one is um, use Distress Stain, right, to fill in all these cracks. Let it dry. I'm going to sand it down a bit, okay? And then I'm going to apply um, some bright colours, yeah, for spring. But we just, I just use some of this getting the cracks but you know again plenty of baby wipes that you need and that will sit in in those crevices there for now I said this um, is a tiny bit warped because I put it on the heater to dry that um, gel medium but what I would do overnight when I finish when it's dry I will then put it under something heavy I would do that okay and then place it under something heavy and it will be fine I've done these before so
Okay. Okay, dry that off. Okay, I nearly forgot to start the video. I've just got it back and I just started sanding down now after it was dry. Okay, don't don't worry about what happens here. You just need to sand it down because it's quite too textured for me. You might like it. Then leave it as it is, but I like it just a bit smoother. And I like what this creates by doing this. You can buy packs of these really cheap and I just think they're great. Don't need them for my nails, do I? <laughs> <At all. laughs> I bet some of you think, that time I got a manicure. <laughs> Well, if you've been watching me for a while, I could get a manicure quite easily. Well, not at the moment, but I'm afraid my nails, um, because of my condition, thyroid problems, they just break up, break off. <coughs> Even with, you know, a lot of work. I used to go quite regularly and have them done and all that. And I used to have the false ones on, you know, the acrylics and... And I've had gel ones as well. Um, one, I can't work in it. I can't, I, I have to cut them right back because I cannot work with them. And um, plus my nails underneath did not get stronger. They got weaker. So it did not work. So now I just give up. And textured but smooth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we're all right there. I'm just going to dust that off. There we get nice clean wet wipe now. Yeah, go through some wet wipes, don't we? <laughs> looking great get all the dust off looking good right now we can have a play what have we got? What have I got here? I've got squeezed lemon, twisted citron, um, dried marigold. I've got the distress stain if I need it. Um, and I've got this Lindy's one, which I really like. And I've got, I, I sort of want to use it, if you know what I mean. Um, I think it's sort of something, Salavi Cerise. <laughs> this is like a bluey green yeah i could do with um i thought i bought the distress duck head blue is it but i didn't i've got the ink pad but i didn't have the actual distress stain or the other so right um i'm gonna start light first i think um do that uh, a bit of orange
just need a few layers i will say so lime green there i need a little bit of blue I've got no pink Ooh. no we won't go for pink just going to put that in as well okay right i'm going to dry that now okay that's all but dry not too bad okay i'm gonna oh yeah another thing that oh, there's 101 things that could work on this um but i'm just using the distress thing instead of the acrylic this time just because i've got it and i'm using it you could use uh the actual you know the little are they called distress stains um i think i i only got a couple of them apparently they're it's like distress paint or oh, this one. Oh no that's not it that's embossing powder they come in ones like this and i think it's called distress paint they're they're brilliant that's i'm sure they're a bit like acrylic paint type thing i don't know i haven't um i haven't got any I've, well i've got two somewhere um it's like everything else you can't have everything so you just make do with what you've got you know i am going to put some more orange on this i am going to go over with an ink pad eventually and i will go over with a speckled egg i think but i just fancy a bit more orange yeah so i'm thinking spring so there's little places that aren't really taken that well that's all right because of this blue well, i might get another blue in a minute I've got tumbled glass. That might work. I've got that one. Yeah, it's a little bit too blue. For, I like the bluey green. It's all right. We've got to think spring. Okay. Um, a little bit blue there. <laughs> it's just, just there. this you know we'll, we'll take it off that's fine right i'm gonna dry that i'm gonna put that over there because that will take it off Right, I am actually happy um, with this at the moment. Okay, I'm quite liking that as a as a layer to seal. So, because if you add any water or anything on the top of this now, it will disturb what's happening here. It will, you know, it will go back white, if you know what I mean. So, I'm going to seal this now. Okay, then I'm going to sort of go over with an ink pad again over the top of that. All right, that's just what I do. Because if you don't seal it, as soon as you add another liquid, that will activate the dis oxide spray, I've noticed. And that's from playing. <laughs> and I don't, I actually quite like that, you know, because um, it's spring. So I shall seal this with some, um, see, look, um, what do you call it? matte medium okay so just be a bit careful and i'm just going over very lightly yeah the thing is if it all goes wrong it doesn't matter because you can just you know do it again it's okay you can build keep building up these layers on this if you wanted to because you've got to remember i sealed it you say but if i didn't it would oh it's really funny The i'll show you it went quite dull right this is one i done i don't know whether i showed you that but i find it quite dull i mean i could brighten this up with a um a layer of mod podge because i love it and i would use this definitely because I like the this bit coming through. And I, I'm going to put that on there as well. But I just thought I would get that layer. 
sort of protected a bit first as much as I can because as you know it's activating it all right okay all right let's try some speckled egg over the top <laughs> Yes, um, I might want a bit darker. I might. I might want some contrast, I think. As well. Yeah, I do. Because again, it's, it's going to be nature, but with spring in mind. Yeah. So I do need a bit of that. Um, this is quite an old one, so. see right, i'm gonna dry that okay that's sort of dry um i'm not 100 percent happy with this one to be honest i'm not liking it i like all the underneath that's okay i'm not liking this so i can change that now because it's you know it will react with this so i'm putting more on it <laughs> and we'll go from there I'm just, yeah. I wish I had the distress stain, you know, the, yeah, the distress stain paint. This will all come up anyway, so. Yeah, I don't, didn't like that brown on there at all. Okay. I think it would be better with white on top, to be honest. I could see, no, I'm liking this now because that's coming through. I needed some negative space, I think, for my eye to, I mean, that to me looks better, definitely. And I think I've got too much texture as well. So I think I'm gonna file down a bit more. It's a bit damp, but it's okay. I know what I'm doing, so. Right, so I'll give that a good sand down and I'm looking at it and to be honest I'm really loving it as it is because I see spring I really do and I think that's and that's really not that's almost flat now it's a little bit you know saturated now we need to really dry it before we seal it I think but I'm I'm actually really liking that brought back. It's absolutely good. It's really good. So because I'm like it, I'm going to stop. Okay. Because I feel that that's right. Okay, so we'll have a recap. That was the um golden one. Those are two I got. That was done with um cornstarch a minute acrylic paint gesso and corn flour okay which is that one there that one was done with crackle medium as well yeah but that's quite this, this is more nature 
woody earthy type and that is tell that is speaking spring to me that one there definitely now okay that's that and then we have another one oh underneath on there you gotta pretend this is a cover okay and we've got this one here and i love that too and to be honest I think I would use definitely use that um, cornflower again to create crackles. I mean, no, not so much cracks and everything, but the texture there is amazing. And we have got a few cracks going on. You know, it's a lovely one here, look. So, you know, for a very cheap alternative, I think that is brilliant. Yeah, so that's the two that we've done today. Okay, so again, this will go under something flat. But no, I'm liking that. I think spring flowers, all spring colours, that, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching then. And you shall see these in a later date. Filling up with beautiful things, <laughs> hopefully. Okay. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.